Welcome to Luxurious Decor, and I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And I hope you enjoy this tip. The tips I'm giving you are not going to be tips for when everything is doing great and you have an abundance of everything and you've got plenty of money and you can find whatever you want at the store. It is for really hard times when you hardly have anything. So I would ask that you stay till the end of this for all the tips behind it. It's something simple and easy, but God bless you guys, and I hope you're having a great day. And let's get started here. Oh, and please, leave me a comment. Give me some of your ideas, okay? Let's talk to each other. As I said, let's get started. And hey guys, go. I want to share a tip with you. Um, this is Albertson's Bread. $3.49. Can you see that? It says you paid $3.49. But what's important here is I want to make this last me a month. And this is how I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, you may only be able to get it to last you a couple of weeks. And you might be able to get it to last you a month, depending on how much you use. That's the secret here. Is how much of this are you going to use? Are you going to use it on a daily basis, once a week, twice a week? How many people's in your family? But either way, I am going to show you how you can get this one piece of bread to serve three people. Now, I want you to remember that when things get that bad, we will not be able to eat as much as we want. Our ancestors during the Depression were not able to eat as much as they wanted to eat, but they did eat. Now first I want to start off by saying that this bread is a wonderful bread to make garlic bread with. And you can do that by slicing this in half lengthwise. And you can use margarine. Some people still use margarine. They don't buy butter. And margarine can be frozen, but whether you use butter or margarine, you want it to be a little bit soft so that it's spreadable and you just spread on both pieces of bread margarine or butter and then sprinkle it with garlic powder now what i do is i take those vegetable plastic bags that i'm always saving and i'm always getting from the stores and i take one of those breads that i have spread with garlic powder and butter and i put it inside that and i can put it back in the same bag and then put that bag also inside of a Walmart or whatever you go bag and then freeze it. It will last six months to a year easily. So this means you could actually keep this bread on hand by buying it in advance. And you will not have to worry about if you're going to have garlic bread to go with your spaghetti. That's one of the biggest things that I love to do is to cut this like that and then make garlic bread from it. And I've had some that is a year old. So think about it. When you get your butter on sale or if you don't, at least you're ahead of the game by having this already on hand. And you've got garlic bread anytime you want with your pizza. I really made a boo-boo. I meant with your spaghetti. And I know that you keep seeing that little stand there, but it's broken. It got broken, and I'm having to hold the camera in my hands now. And I forgot to move it out of the way, but just kind of ignore that. I don't want to have to go back and redo everything just because of that stand sitting there like that. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take this bread, and we're going to cut it just like so. Okay, we're going to cut this into smaller pieces, this one piece of bread. I'm trying not to jar you to death. Okay. Three. I want this to serve three people. Four. So you got one, two, three, four. So I need to get at least two more pieces out of this. Now, I keep this bread in the refrigerator. It will last for weeks in there, weeks and weeks. Now, the thing of it is, is it does become a little stale, but that's okay. This is going to be used for toast. Let me see. You got two, two, two. 
and two extra pieces for somebody else that wants three. You're going to turn this into little toast. I'm going to show you how to do that. And this one piece of bread will feed three people. Now, if you were insistent and your times were so difficult, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with one piece of toast. Now, I'm showing you a second tip here that you can use for this bread. And it's making little miniature toasts for your breakfast. This is two things you can do with this bread. So you can freeze just the plain bread for six months to a year also. Okay, you see how I've done this? I will, this, when it's toasted nice and brown on this side, it's finished. I'll flip the other ones over. Now, this is enough for three people, two pieces each. But folks, we're going to have to learn to eat a whole lot less. Now, if there's only two in your family, you're okay. You can have a little more. But if there's three, this is the best that you can do. You know, what can I say? Cutting back and making it stretch is what's most important. I would like to say one other thing about this. You could take a piece of this bread with a little bit of sugar and cinnamon and sprinkle over it and have yourself a wonderful dessert with a cup of coffee or even for a smaller child that's not really big on breakfast and you make them a little scrambled egg you give them a little piece of toast with cinnamon sugar sprinkled over the top and it's absolutely delicious and you Convince the kid to eat maybe a scrambled egg if you're lucky. Some kids just don't like eggs. But anyhow, even for yourself, this would be awesome. It's a little dessert with some cinnamon sugar over top. I wouldn't use maple syrup on this. Maple syrup, real maple syrup, is very expensive. And I have it, but I save it for my non-GMO organic homemade pancake mix. Okay? All right. God bless and enjoy.